Now the DNR is issuing a warning for the weekend. With fresh snow on the ground, the trails will be busy, creating a higher danger for drinking and snowmobiling. NBC 26's Alex Hagan has more from Howard. This weekend is shaping up to be quite a busy one for snowmobilers here in Howard. However, after one fatal crash earlier this week was linked to alcohol, the DNR concerned that more could happen if people aren't careful. I've been on this trail many times. Mike Kohler of Green Bay, a frequent snowmobiler, knows the dangers of drinking and riding. Several years ago, a friend of his got into an accident. Way too much to drink and push come to shot, they're out racing and the guy lost it and pretty much almost killed himself. Not a unique incident in the Badger State. Last year, 20 fatal crashes, 65% of them involved alcohol. Same story this season with seven deaths already. The Wisconsin DNR monitoring trails, knowing how vulnerable the vehicles are. We don't have airbags on snowmobiles. We don't have seatbelts on snowmobiles. We don't have safety devices. All it is is you on that machine. Conservation warden John Schreiber says people should never drink when operating a snowmobile, but it tends to happen frequently at night. They go uh, to taverns, to bars. So Sheila Derpinghouse of BS's bar keeps tabs on who has had too much to drink. I've taken keys away from them, even on snowmobiles. Try not to drink when I'm driving. I'd like to be home by dark. A way to reverse a trend that will have the DNR out in force this weekend. Now the DNR says if you are caught operating a snowmobile under the influence, you could face a fine of more than $600. In Howard, Alex Hagan, NBC 26.